to my first vlog so this vlog is going to be all about how i will be launching my virgin wig collection so i currently run a successful raw hair wig collection and i'm thinking of having um having like a affordable option to that list and i just thought i might as well just come on here and just share my journey with you guys oh for the people that are planning to start their own wig business and they're unsure about how to I believe this will really help you so this is going to be all vlogs i'm going to be doing the vlogs up until when i launch so for week one i'm going to talk to you about basically what i'll be doing that week for that business you're going to share ideas with me because i'm not going to be doing this alone and then we are, i'm going to just talk about the step by step of what i will be doing i'm going to share my to-do list on for the five three weeks i believe it's five weeks i'm not sure i'm checking the calendar now yes yeah, so it's gonna be five weeks till launch date and um, i'm gonna take you through a five weeks vlog where i will share all of my step-by-step -step process and i think this will help a lot of people when it comes to starting a week business and i'm also gonna learn a lot from you guys so yeah i'm so excited this is my first vlog so i'm nervous as well as excited and i hope it comes out well camera okay, is propped properly so yesterday i said them um, i was gonna come downstairs so by the way this is the next day the next morning at 9 a.m so i said i was gonna come downstairs and just try to get my to-do list done get my business plan ready but guys i got downstairs and i realized that i had a pending order so i thought i have done this order um because they were um three of the same kind i was shocked so I had to run around and um, quickly get it done just to style it. Um, thank God I had the wig already, so I just had to style. So today I think I will, I need to tidy up. Let me show you guys the mess because it is a mess in here. Like I tidy up every day and it's still a mess. Like I don't understand. <laughs> want somewhere where i can put my wigs and display them but i don't like displaying my wigs because i don't like the way it feels like just there displaying and then when it's time to sell i sell i like to style them and just store them for the clients so i just need to change this place i need an idea place is now clean so um i got a delivery for one of the hair that i am testing this is basically one of the hair that i'm testing for the virgin collection i actually have a vendor that i'm going to be using i've been using that for years but i wanted to have like a second one and a third one plan a plan b plan c and honestly this is what you need to do so basically i'm testing some vendors to see what their hair is like as i'm selling my current vendor i am wearing testing this other vendor so that's basically what i do just to make sure that i don't run out of vendors when i need to like in an emergency or something obviously this is basically the pack um that i got it's quite different to usually how i get things delivered usually it's fedex this is my first time of getting a delivery from this vendor so i don't know what it's going to look like i opened it already but i'm just gonna show you later i'm gonna have a shower have breakfast get the kids um ready because by the way and you still need to take them to a play center get the kids ready get the kids out come back and then i will um, open this up and start my business case as well in this vlog so hi everyone so basically i just got back and the time is 5 20 i had to do a lot of stuff get the kids out and do some shopping um I could have vlogged the whole process because I'm really not used to this vlogging thing. <laughs> my next step now is just to um, create my to-do list. And I always do that using Notion. So I don't know if you've used Notion before. It's very good. I have it. I use it for like content ideas. I use it for everything, like one place. 
everything is stored so i've created a task for that but i think i'm gonna rename it all Lux virgin hair task and this is basically a to-do list that i need to do for all through um the launch of this um business so and all of this task will be shown in my vlogs where i share literally how i'm doing it what i'm doing and how i'm making those decisions okay so the first task that i really 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 important that is really important to me is the business case it's a, just a just a business plan um i don't do too much when it comes to business plans but i like to highlight important stuff like the the reason the scope behind um the project so um because i have like project management skills i actually if you don't know me i work as like a um, work stream lead and financial sector um about on project management so i'm able to like use that business case because it kind of helps me know what i do so if you're going into any business the first thing you need to do is do a business case which i will be sharing or business plan which i will be sharing on here the next thing i'm going to do is um because i'm obviously talking to vendors at the moment um i'm gonna finalize the lens of hair that i will be constructing um i plan to launch i don't know okay let me rephrase that so i'm basically going to conclude on how many weeks i will be launching on launch dates so i need to um clarify um product launch clarify products and this will include how many wigs, lamps, colors, and things like that. So once that is done, the next task for me is basically having content around all of this. So I'm going to plan content, content on this. So my focus, um, is going to be on tiktok so i have actually gone through um when i'm writing my business plan you'll be able to see like my target audience and what i'm looking when it comes to content creation around all of this but i'm going to plan the content and i'm going to add all of the content in like a content calendar so once i have that then i can just follow through on that one so like i initially shared i will be checking out quite a few vendors so i have about three vendors that i am currently testing like i said earlier i actually have a vendor that virgin heaven that i've been using for years that i trust but i just want to have backup so um i'm just going to say confirmation confirmation this might be of um backup vendor this might actually be a vendor that oh, oh oh i've gone up um anyway so this might actually be a vendor that this might be an ongoing task where um i might even launch i still still searching because sometimes you hope to find a good vendor and then you end up not finding one but i have hey a week here that i'm going to show you unfortunately i can't show you the vendor itself but i'm going to show you the hair and maybe later on if i feel like i'm able to share them if i'm not using them then i'm going to share it on this platform but there won't be a lot of tasks here individually but there's a lot of tasks in the task so if you get what i mean so i'm also going to um create all um prototype So when I mean prototype, I mean the styles, the hair, the wig and everything. And this is basically when I've clarified all of the products that I need to make. Um, once the create prototypes, I'm going to say take pictures and upload on Shopify. I'm also going to make some changes to Shopify. To shopify to accommodate um basically this virgin hair because like i initially said i deal with raw hair so i'm gonna make some changes 
and then 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 i will say actually i'm meant to make streams shopify and instagram okay so i'm going to create a subscription list where um everyone's able to subscribe i need to have 50 pounds off on launch date for all of the virgin hair wigs so i'm gonna like create how to capture that on there as well and basically yeah and that is what i will be doing when it comes to that launch date let me show you guys literally what i got from my first testing vendor just so that you see how it looks so i've taken it out of the pack um because the all of the uh, um details are on the pack and i don't want to show them that yet like i mentioned i will still give it um if i end up not liking i'll share some of them but for now the first thing i notice is the smell this vendor is a no-no for me it makes me feel sick it also have a lot of it's giving 2010 when you buy hair in 2010 i look oh why do i feel nauseous from it oh not a good feeling it's not i can't remember the length that i bought i have to check the length i bought a 22 you can see it from here but this doesn't seem like a 22 this seems shorter than a 22 this is like an 18 like an 18 inch 20 inch rather this is not a 22 definitely um there's a lot of tiny hairs yeah not worth it good morning guys i've been so busy with my life that i haven't had time to vlog i had some um delivery delays and i had to just i had to um so that i had to put everything else on hold because it was affecting my um orders it was just a mess guys just a mess mm. so sticky i really apologize i can't even remember the last time i vlogged i think i vlogged last week so today is a monday we're starting afresh and i hope this is not all over the place because of all of these delays it's really really put me in a very tight situation because the plan before was to get my orders um hold on a second the plan before was to get my um launch date the first of april and just kickstart that um just make sure i have a lot of wigs ready but i, I actually am struggling with the dates because uh, my raw hair vendor really really messed me up with delays it's not their fault actually um there was a custom delay with the amount that was on my um order notes which was quite silly so um that really delayed stuff and then i could focus i needed to focus on that because i obviously have um, a lot of weeks that are dependent on that so that was more priority um to get the others out there start off with um the list of today i have been doing things online um i've been doing things in my free time i just didn't bring the camera out so i've done my business plan um written all of that i'm going to show you the things on how to write that i've done my content creation around that as well i've actually outlined the products that i want to launch i'm thinking of having about four colors um four colors and two blacks um and i think another pe uh, people colored wig as well so that kind of makes it like seven weeks that I would launch the colors that I will launch um, for the first launch. And I'm also looking at price range. And honestly, I've looked at all of this and I'm trying to make it as cheap as possible and ensure that the quality is good because I want to be able to see that you can actually have good hair that can last up to three years um even if it's virgin and it's still affordable but to be honest it's, it's gonna cut in into all of my plans and everything like that but i'm happy to do that by the way if you're looking to get one of these wigs which you probably don't know what it is right now but i think if you want to get a head start you can actually check the description 
I have 50 pounds off on launch dates for subscription so by the way this will be shipped anywhere regardless of um, anywhere in the world uh, so by the way I use Notion I don't know if I mentioned it in the last um, clip I use Notion to get all of these things in place just to make sure that I have it all in one place to go to so um, let me see I will not be able to open all of this but I'm just gonna give you a brief um, breakdown of what I've written here so um, you have the exact summary. Basically, what this business plan is, I have no plans to request any loans or nothing like that. So the exact summary is not really important for me, however. So all what I've said here is basically a summary added on here. So for example, I talk about the business, talk about my plans, everything is on here in summary. So if anyone picks this up, they can kind of understand what all of this breakdown is without going through each and every one of them. So that's basically what that exact summary is. So I always do last um, because once I fill off this up, once I fill this up, it kind of helps me answer the first one. For business description, that's basically what um, the product is, what I plan to offer and what kind of problem I plan to solve. So for example, if you're selling um, bundles, you can decide to talk about, okay, what products am I offering? I'm offering bundles from this length to that length. And then what problem I'm planning to solve? You can say maybe um, just exclusivity or maybe like, oh, I plan to have colored bundles only to make it easier for people to DIY their bundles. Or you could, there are different things you could think about. So you could think about your market and just think about what you're trying to solve. Maybe the longevity of the hair or maybe making it easier for people to be able to afford your bundles, like maybe having clan on, things like that. So look at the problems that are existing in your niche and then talk about how you can plan and solve it in this description. Then on here we have market analysis. This is basically all about your target audience. So this will break down all your target audience. So for example, your target audience can be um, maybe people that are busy women or women mothers at home that don't have time to go and make their hair. You're trying to make sure that they have, um, a, that don't have the time to make their hair. So you're trying to like create weeks that can be easily worn by mothers or maybe like wigs can that can be easily done like diy wigs or things like that so marketing plan this can be like maybe you're thinking about facebook ads social media if that's what you're thinking of selling your products so basically the plan and how your products will be sold so are you going to do those door marketing are you going to do facebook ads are you going to do social media only where you're just making sure that you're going viral in order for your products to sell things like that so that is the plan and i have the operating plan which is basically how i will be selling not how we'll be selling but what i will be doing in that summer so for example my plan is to have pre-made wigs rather than just having my mix wigs made from scratch especially if i'm going towards affordability you know to reduce my um my own um cost because for my raw hair wigs i create them from scratch so in order to reduce my cost because i would have to put the cost of me making the wig i have to put it in there but in order for me to reach then i'll go through the pre-order um wig journey so that's kind of the ex that's kind of like an example of what you can do i also have like the financial plan so if i open this up you will see like a a, a financial planner where a link will take you to like my excel spreadsheet where i have a financial breakdown a financial cost and financial planner of the whole business so that's basically what i have it basically tells me how much i have how much i've spent how much um is left um what is the total cost what is my profit what is my margin things like that okay so guys um so basically that's that one and the next on my list is the clarify products and how many weeks are meant to so if i scroll down you'll be able to see kind of like um like a breakdown like an excel breakdown of i'll just tell you guys what it is um so what i did was i put like the cost all my costs so if you guys want any pricing video on pricing because i know a lot of people struggle on that please let me know so i kind of put like the cost um all of the costs of my per week and then i break that down 
per week um, per like the um, prototype that I am making I kind of list all of the prototypes I am making for this launch and then I talk about the cost and then I just had that together just to get my um profit breakdown as well as the products that i am making so i'm kind of linking the financial plan in here as well because this kind of just helped me see if this product's worse because there's some because i'm going through very affordable very affordable as well as good quality i will need to be cautious i'll be to be cautious about my color technique because some color techniques are very very time consuming intense and that would obviously be with my raw hair not basically what i'm doing for affordability here because so i kind of looked at all of the costs of the color that i'm looking to do how easy is the color to get what kind of products can i use to kind of reduce my existing um price point when it comes to um raw hair so that's basically what i've done on here kind of broke it down at the moment i have one two three four five six seven but the seventh one i'm not really sure um i'm thinking that maybe i will not go that route um but i definitely have six but i'm not sure about the seventh um one so yeah so that's basically what that is as well then on alicia i have the plan content on this and if you see i have a link to the contents that i have planned on here so i have like a content calendar in um in google sheets um on here i don't know if you can see on here like i have all of this here and then this content calendar has different um content type so from here i'm able to look at my pillars um guys if you honestly i am quite lazy when it comes to content creation i know about content creation i understand content creation i actually um kind of know it especially my other businesses that you probably don't know about um i kind of know like how to go viral things like that but when it comes to creating that content that's where the problem is guys because i don't have the time to create content so but i would rather do it than pay a content creator so at the moment i've had to put a calendar up and today i'm meant to actually post something but on tiktok but i just had to pick one it's either i do this or i post it on tiktok then focus on my orders so i had to pick one or the other to do yes yeah, so this is basically what i have content so i linked it up for anyone that wants to go into it and see um what the content plan is for the week however on notion there is a calendar but i don't have time to add it onto that calendar so that's why i have it on there because i'd rather work with the sheets than work with the notion calendar if that makes sense that I can add it on there as well because I do have some with my other businesses here which I can't really show you um but I have the calendars on that one as well then um the confirmation of the backup one is the next kind of one in place as well which I am in progress of doing I plan to do now is I plan to update my website because at the moment, I'm going to show you what it's looking like at the moment. But I want to change it completely to what it is right now. And let me just show you what I mean. So this is what I currently have on here. But I need to, I've just created one on Canva, which I'm going to change now. I'm just going to change that. Um, I've just uploaded it onto Canva. So I've kind of changed it. I've did um, all of that. Put planner on here. Kind of put the dates on. So I'm not really revamping or rebranding. But I'm just adding a different brand to it. So I've created this, all of this I created on Canva um, myself. So it's not professionally, professionally done, but I guess it just does the job, to be honest. And um, I wanted it to look very 
in your face kind of thing right? some of these ones are out of stock now sold out which i need to sort out um because i will be launching a different for my raw hair wig doing like a photo shoot like a shower kind of thing so i just kind of you know remember i don't know i have this um video here where i talked about wild angel week so i just kind of i want to bleach that week for her and just make it into something that she can have for her shower uh, photo shoot not a shower photo shoot a photo shoot and then um i've just opened up this box from my customer so basically she ordered this week months ago i can't remember when but it's been a while and she now wants me by the way she's ordered this type of color four times and guys she wears it she wears this color initially i was thinking oh my god like why does she order the same color and she's so sweet amazing woman so now she wants to send them in one by one for me to kind of restyle it and get it into a like a style shape so yeah so this is the wig uh, it comes with an elastic band hd lace with the what's it called it comes with this as well so yeah so i'm gonna just wash this <laughs> Both. I just wanted to show you guys what I got from the US when I went my first time actually and I was so excited I got so many stuff like that I think I don't even need out of excitement well, let me some of the things I got in all honesty I don't think I need them I got so excited with my first time in the US some of those things I would see online and I wanted them, but when you go to the hair shop in the UK, it's costing a arm and a leg. So I always end up finding alternatives. So I, I got Ebon. So there's Ebon here, honestly. I don't know why I got it, but I think I've never seen a big... Actually, I take that back. I've seen a bigger size. I bought it because I felt like it was cheaper. But it was like a dollar two dollars cheaper however though that is way cheaper when changing to pounds so i got that i got this ebbing list milk mousse now let me say this yeah um i have a, a set my a bottle open there so i open the bottle i don't i think you have to use this strategically oh so it's very liquidy so it means that if you use it on your hair, it will probably run, which might not be fun. But what I would say though, is that it gives this good melt, especially when you use transparent laces. So you can try that as well. But to be honest, it's not my go-to. And I got uh, one, two, three. I got about six of this. So I give two out. I have them using correct and using one. And then I have this here. I think I'm going to put this on my Instagram story, actually. If you're in the UK and you want one, I don't think they have it here yet. Let me know. DM me, please. I'm going to sell it, to be honest. I wrote the... I feel like this was the most exciting stuff that I got. I wasn't... I wish I could buy the bigger one, but I didn't have enough space in my boxes. Because, I honestly, I don't know why I even took too many clothes over but i got this size and i also got the small bottle which i'm currently using and my goodness my goodness guess what it's so difficult to get nairobi here in the uk like nairobi in the uk is usually when someone goes to the, U to the us 
and buy some and just sell it and you can imagine how expensive that is they are not actually um supplying any of the shops in the uk and i think i spoke to one of my hair shop guy which i really um buy stuff from them and i was asking him to stock up this and he told me that they reached out to them and they said no <laughs> so weird but i got this but i think this is one of my favorite stuff that i got that i have not regretted buying melting spray which i have never used i got three i gave someone i gave people two and i left one the reason why i'm not really keen is because i feel like to be honest i, I don't like when things are too liquidy and I, I'm, I have a feeling that this will be let me know in the comment section if you've tried it what do you think i haven't opened it yet because i don't know if i'm gonna sell it so i've kind of left it because i already have enough ebbing in my life quickly i got this one as well i've never used it i feel like it's just the is a gel form remember when you used to use got to be gel i think this is it i've never tried it i just got it because i'm a fan of ebbing products so i got it um it's here in the uk actually so it's not like it's this gas commodity i got this skin protector because i haven't used this because i have skin protector from erica j i got some from erica j so I'm, I'm still using those ones at the moment so once that run out of that one i'll open this one color charm so here in the uk they cost about 9.99 that's about 10 pounds and i think i only got this for 5.99 so 5.99 dollars honestly i grabbed but i feel like i've overdone it though but i got how many to 28 i got one two so I got about 4 to 28. I got 40 eh? But the reason I'm, I'm a little bit excited because I'm like I'm going into the virgin hair brand, like I mentioned. So I currently sell wig, raw hair, wigs, and everything like that. I've been doing that for almost a year now. So I'm kind of moving into to have like a second option of virgin hair wigs so i'm gonna try to make them as affordable as i can and usually my raw hair i use a lot of cold stone cold stone is quite expensive um these ones are actually good products i'm more tea 28 and i got t18 about 40 18 so I think this is the lightest hash brown um, this is a medium beige brown i think about about three of t27 or four medium beige beige blonde 11 so that's the lightest beige blonde um i got all blonde actually also got this ruby kisses to be honest i've been using ruby kisses for a long time and i think i need to change the ones that i have so i kind of replace what i got so i got cut 10 um i got 12 they didn't have 11 i got 10 12 13 14 15 that is all and i just got this one as a last minute buy so basically that's all i got i'm gonna put them back actually i'm having beef pieces honestly my belly is big and i think i get so bloated because of all this late night eating but uh, i'm so i'm so hungry i forget to eat during the day then i you know i feel like you know, I'm done with that wig. I wanted to show you guys the like the wig that I got from a vendor that I am testing. So if you watch my first vlog, you know that I mentioned that I want to have few vendors for my virgin hair. I already have one vendor that I know for sure that I will be using. So but I wanted to test another vendor. Um, multiple vendors so this is the first batch that has arrived i'm looking to test a few more it came in like um bag it also came with the um pack, the pack. i got it in 24 inch closure i always test longer than um just because you can tell a bad hair from its length so um i don't have for the virgin hair I'm not really really strict like okay so for example uh, I'm not really strict on how to test if you want to know how I usually find good raw heavens and everything you can find it up here but this is basically virgin so I'm not really really like 
um, there are few things that I look out for um and but i don't look well into like how i look in depth for raw hair so i honestly like the hair i got it in um 250 density the few things i will change is the cap um just few things but apart from that the hair looks good like let me compare it side by side with the wild virgin angel hair 250 density this is the one i got from the vendor um this is already this has been washed um not washed but just water has touched it so it's a bit um messed up but to be honest this is so much better this from wow angel has so many fillers compared to this one this hair is so good i'm so excited came quickly today um let's open it so i got um i got different colors um they're called think the color or something like that i got quite a few colors on here to try um i also got some blonde guys i don't even know why i'm buying so much because as you can tell i already have a lot of colors Ooh, they gave me a good chance Ooh, that's nice i wasn't expecting this they gave me a chat so excited so they gave me like a chat where um for costume you have a book and the book has hair and i think you can only get it you can't buy it especially only if you buy from like amazon or something but you can get it free from salon services or sally's um but you have to have bought a lot of course actually to be able to get it but this one it's just paper printed but i really appreciate that though like oh i'm so excited i can visualize what i want to make and great and the colors are so vivid i don't know if you can see can you see I'm not sure how many i bought though i think i bought one two three four five six i wanted to try i also got the yeah, no lift um because it's quite difficult to find a good no lift to be honest good morning how are you today so this is the next day um it is about 10 a.m in the morning i was just and it's a rainy day i wish i could show you guys but due to privacy reasons i can't it's raining and it's not a good one for photo shoot so i'm so worried about my sister-in-law's photo shoot but anyway how are you all doing so um the plan today is just to get the photo shoot done and then um i'm going to do some cleaning i'm going to start cleaning this room first make breakfast for my kids and then um the plan is to fully concentrate concentrate on let me move this up sorry i'll just move this to where you can see me properly the plan is to fully concentrate on um the virgin hair brand today so like i said yesterday i literally put everything out of stock so i don't get any new orders so i can fulfill the correct orders that i have but um when this video is out it will probably be back on um because this is the second week um studio vlog so i'm gonna tidy up the studio hot comb the hair on the mannequin first the wig that i'm gonna install for my stone lot and then i will because she's um expecting i'm not be, i'm not gonna be able to show her full face or something like that just due to privacy reasons but i'm going to probably show a bit of the install so that you can see once that is done yeah let's go hi everyone so i'm thinking of like handing the vlog here because of so many things um this is my first vlog so i'm not really sure if i'm doing it the right way so i'm gonna hand it here but you need to look watch out for the next vlog i think for today i'm gonna start the next vlog tomorrow and i'm gonna focus on like the prototypes coloring the wigs and getting all the wigs out so you're gonna do the colorings with me i plan to color about during the whole week 
my plan hopefully is to have about five weeks colored and just have all of the prototypes ready for the launch but yeah so we're gonna probably do that with together we're gonna do some styling videos so it's gonna be next week vlog is gonna be a very good one packed with so much goodies so much to learn because i want to ensure that i'm not just doing a vlog just for doing a vlog i'm actually doing something that would literally make difference and would literally like make people gain more knowledge when it comes to hair and things like that so much for your time please don't forget to subscribe like this video share it and also in the comment section let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to add on this um studio vlog on and all about this launching of my virgin hair brand and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.